welcome to Sissy Dyer Potter. Hi guys and welcome to Shristi Stryad's Porter. Today we're going to be making the yummiest and the tastiest experiment ever. This is the fantastic this is a fantastic way to convince your parents to buy some chocolate because all parents want their kids to do some experiments. So after you did this experiment you get to eat it. Let's learn a bit of information before we start. So, in 1849, Araman Fizu calculated the speed of light to be around 315,000 km per second. But Maxwell calculated it to be around 299,788 km per second. So, you're going to need chocolate. I'm using dark chocolate, a ceramic plate, a ruler, and a microwave. So let's start. First, you want to open your chocolate. So, yeah. So, I have opened my delicious chocolate, and you want to like keep it upside down and keep it on the plate and you're gonna take it to the oven i mean so this is my microwave here and so what we're going to take the glass plate and the wheel off why we're doing this is because normally microwaves spin and they the heat spreads evenly on the chocolate and, and it melts but this time we're going to take it off like because you won't need these two materials for this experiment because we want to find the speed of light. So I'm going to take them off and I'm also going to take the wheel off. Ooh. And now I've got my ceramic plate. I'm going to keep it in there. But you're going to keep the chocolate upturned like this. And you want to keep it for one minute. So you want to keep it for one minute. And start. So now I've kept it for one minute. And can you see some nodes? So this is a high frequency node. So it's got like, it's called anti-node. This has a really low frequency you can see it's not even so we're going to measure it with a ruler so yeah so it's let's it is basically like six centimeters here i will draw and explain how to measure the wavelength so like i showed you guys before with the, the two melting points in the chocolate the antinode and the note so yeah so what you want to do is you want to put a line through to one antinode to another antinode because we're going to just find half a wavelength and we're going to multiply it by two so why we're doing this is because we want to find the um, speed of light so once you've done that you're going to take so we found out that it was six centimeter so now what you want to do is times it by two so six into two which would make 12 so now we found the full wavelength this is the frequency for my microwave so measure the speed of light so the formula is c is equals to frequency into wavelength so the frequency you would get at the back of your microwave, like I said, so mine was 2450 MHz. So you want to times it by 12 centimeter. So and you want to convert it into meters. So that's why we're doing it. So I got 0 0.12 because I divided by 100. 
So now you want to convert the megahertz into minutes per second. To do that, you want to um, times into the frequency of 10 to the power of 8. So my answer was 2 mil, 200 million and 94 meters per second. But the actual scientist got 2 billion. Nine nine seven nine two four five two meters per second. So we are really close. Thanks for watching this really scientist video. Stay tuned for my next video. After that, I'm going to eat it. Mmm.